hey guys welcome back today we are going to see some tasks from pico ctf so for those who don't know what a ctf uh, or a capture the flag competition is you can check my description for the link to my video uh, on introduction to pico ctf so here i have opened uh, the pico ctf here i have uh, the the web shell linux web shell which is provided by pico ctf so guys this is basically the hacking ground wherein you have to uh, get inside these vulnerable systems and find the flag which is hidden uh, by the developers so there are many subdomains uh, reverse engineering web exploitation uh, general skills we will start from general skills guys we have a uh, tab tab attack here so it looks interesting mm. So if you click on it, we can see the description uh, of the particular task. So this is uh, authored by Serial and yeah, this is the description. So guys, here we have the hint and there are no point penalties for viewing hints. So we will first read the description guys. Using tab complete in the terminal will add years to your life. And that's a very true thing, especially when dealing with long rambling directory structures and file names. So guys here we have a file name uh, which is a zip file from here we can see it and add add shash uh, whatever blah blah so guys uh, we have we'll just hover over it and copy the link address it would be helpful and we'll see just see the hint over here after unzipping this problem uh, can be solved with 11 button presses mostly tab so you can get an idea guys if you press tab in Linux, uh, it it is auto complete. So whatever comes after is is auto completed. So you need not uh, sit and type the big names over here. So guys, we'll move on to the web shell. So to basically download that zip file uh, into your uh, web shell, you can use wget. So what a wget is, you can see from the manual page wget uh, man wget basically. So guys, here you can see. Uh, GNU WJet is a free utility for now interactive uh, download of files from the web. It supports HTTP, HTTPS and FTP protocols as well as retrieval to HTTP proxies. So guys, you can basically download uh, from the web uh, using uh, this particular command. So if you press Q, the manual page, uh, you can get out of the manual page. So I'll clear the screen and now uh, WGET and we'll just once more copy the uh, link from here and we'll paste it over here so if you press enter you can see that uh, it's downloaded over here the zip file basically so if you want to view the contents of your directory basically you are uh, in the home directory you can check it by pwd and you can see here that uh, we have the zip file over here so guys i will clear the screen now we will unzip uh, the file so if you press a and if you press tab it would be autocomplete so you can see it if you press enter so all the files over here are zip unzipped so guys there's a hell lot of files over here mm. yeah so now what we have to do is uh, there is a file inside all these directories and you have to get that file so basically your flag would be in that file i guess so if you want to get inside these directories uh, the basic command is cd and you can press tab so you can see here that it's autocomplete you have to press enter then again cd tab enter cd tab enter cd tab enter so you can keep on doing this and yeah uh, well once more cd tab autocomplete so no this is the last uh, directory over here uh, you can see that file is inside uh, this particular uh, directory so now i will clear the screen for more clarity so guys you can see here we are inside this uh, all these directories which we unzipped now if you want to see what file is inside it you can see that it's a, a fang of uh, whatever 
so guys you can see it's green in color which means it's an executable file you can even see that uh, there's an X over here you can read write and execute this file so for executing the file you can use dot slash then tap for autocomplete then if you press enter so guys yeah here we have our flag so basically guys this is the uh, final step uh, it's the hidden flag which you have to find in pico ctfs so this is the basic idea behind uh, capture the flag competitions you have to paste your uh, flag over here and submit the flag so guys you have earned 20 points so this is the basic structure guys uh, it's just amazing there are many more tasks over here uh, even from cryptography mod 26 we'll get into it guys i don't know what it is uh, yeah so cryptography uh, the authorist pndu uh, guys this time we will not use the hints so we have to find what this is so cryptography can be easy do you know about uh, rot 13 so guys rot 13 I guess it's basically the uh, encryption method uh, I guess it's rotation by 13 so it's a type of encryption method wherein uh, each alphabets are replaced by another alphabet um, which is 13 places from it so if it's a then uh, basically it should be uh, n I guess so here we can see it's C so uh, this would be P so the encrypted encrypted uh, message would be p for if you put c it would be p so it's like 13 places uh, from the particular alphabet so guys you can sit and do it with your hands basically it's a waste of time uh, you can search online for many decoders of uh, rot 13 uh, press rot 13 decoder and if you yeah you can see here there's a rot 13 a decoder over here you paste that guys see here we have the flag over here so guys just uh, copy it go to your pico ctf then paste it so just check whether it's submitting or not okay so that's it guys uh, you can even check for more tasks over here in the coming days uh, we would be solving all these and along with it we would be also learning uh, concepts from Linux uh, since now you know what a rot 13 is and what a tab can do so these are all the basic skills which a hacker should have and guys that's all for today uh, thanks for watching this if you like the content and if you need more content like this do subscribe and do share with your friends.